Are solicitors and conveyancers holding back the UK property industry? Talk to me. Completely. Oh. I mean, accountants, solicitors, um, you know, there's this sort of ideology of a professional. I went to university, I've got these letters, this qualification. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Who are you? Where, where's your um, background? What, what's it all about? And the truth of the matter is there's different forms of communicators. Solicitors must be business people, not even entrepreneurs. Business people first and people people. So in other words, they've got to say to themselves, right, how can I help you? It almost, I mean it. I, it almost seems that they're out there to try and block the deal, to, to find problems. Look, to all of you agents out there, um, how many times have you had the experience? You get the lead, you transfer the lead into an instruction, you then market the instruction, you go through all the viewing process, then you go to the negotiations, then you um, work the deal on both sides to make sure that it happens, and then finally, after everything, it goes to solicitor's hands, you've done this amazing job for both sides, because so much as you're working for the one that pays you, you've also got to relate to the other side as well. And then the solicitor arrogantly looks at you like you just got lucky and can destroy the work unless they work quickly, effectively, with transparency and all of these things. That, and and okay. they don't know how to operate, most but, cases. Boss, if you roll the clock back 20 years, the average conveyance took between 8 and 10 weeks. Yeah. Okay, Today it's taken 19 weeks. Yeah. 19 weeks yeah. and for every i think the post office did a survey for every extra week a sale goes on the chances are it falls out of bed yeah. well most of them do they're falling out of bed at the moment for a few reasons that's one of the major ones because it's a time frame but it's also finance in the mortgage business at the moment the big lenders are saying correct me if i'm wrong some of the cases just throw them out we don't want everyone to facilitate for one reason or not I know from the uh, market research and personal business that certain deals are not happening for a numbers basis with the uh, to answer your question with the solicitors I've done what's called attended deals attended deals is where you have the two solicitors sitting in the same room for those billionaire and big investors that I've worked with them for and as lead negotiator in those situations, fantastic, because everyone's in the room. That happens straight away virtually. Yeah, okay, you need to go through a few things, but you can exchange. In other words, I've bought and sold properties in a week. It can be done. It can still be done. But the whole mindset is slow. And also, the longer it takes, the more money they can make. Well, if you look in, in most solicitors, they deal on a fixed price basis now. And to make the money, they now, a lot of them have factory conveyancing. And, and I, I was talking with Peter from the from the partnership. And th these solicitors are taking on 100, 150 cases. So if you've got a pile of files, you, it's going to go slower. Do you think that's because, because estate agents have driven them down on price because they want a commission? Has it ultimately come back from a state agent's greed wanting a kickback, so solicitors have to cut their cloth accordingly, or is it just mindset or mm. all the above? The way that you do business at the highest level in that business, for example, is the first thing is there's a standard contract between solicitors. They send it out to each other, and then they get on the phone. Well, they don't get on the they phone. They don't get on the phone. It's all letters nowadays. No. They need to get on the phone and say, right, where are the issues on your side and my side let's address them immediately if that was the case and that happened the game would change fast and it doesn't and do you think that would be better for the british economy completely that it should be solicitors that need to kick up the backside not estate agents both thanks boss.